Welcome to the Parallels Desktop 19 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to install the Parallels Desktop app on your Mac and how to install your Windows 11 virtual machine. And finally, I will give you some tips and tricks on how to get the best performance out of Windows 11 on your Mac. Unfortunately, nowadays, you can no longer install Windows on a MacBook using Bootcamp. This feature was available only for Intel-based MacBooks. Today, there is only one option, and it's called virtualization. As you already probably know, the Parallels desktop application allows users to install a virtual machine of Windows 11 or any other system on any macOS computer. Installing Windows 11 will allow you to always have a virtual PC inside your own Mac. The benefits of using a virtual machine with Windows 11 on your MacBook are multiple. You can run almost any made-for-Windows software or even install and play PC games on your Mac like on any other Windows laptop. For example, recently I had to jailbreak my iPhone 4S and I had to use a specific software made only for Windows. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows PC, so I just opened my virtual Windows 11 PC on my Mac and installed the software. As I said earlier, thanks to the graphic accelerator in Parallels, you can even play PC games on your Mac. Of course, the performance will depend on your specs. The more recent MacBook you have, the better it will run PC games and Windows 11. So, to install Parallels Desktop, go to Parallels.com and download the installer package. They give you 14 days of free trial, so if you need Windows just for a couple of days, you can use it for free and then decide whether you want to purchase the app or not. Once you installed Parallels Desktop, just open the app and it will show you a prompt window that proposes you to start installing Windows 11. Just hit OK and follow the instructions. The app will install Windows 11 automatically. Just make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and wait until the installation process is finished. The installation process may take some time, depending on your internet speed. In my case, it takes from 10 to 15 minutes. That's why I really like this application, because it's so easy to set up your Windows 11. You don't need to download the Windows ISO file from the Microsoft website, you don't have to configure any settings, everything is done and configured automatically. Keep in mind that Windows 11 Virtual Machine will use a lot of space on your drive. In my case, just installing Windows 11 used 11 GB of storage. After installing all my PC games and applications, it now uses around 160 GB. Once you've installed Windows Virtual Machine, it's better to move it to an external storage. That way you will save space on your computer. Just find your virtual machine file location and move it to an external drive. Now, every time you would like to launch Windows 11, simply connect your external SSD and run it from there. By the way, I made a separate tutorial about moving your virtual machine to an external drive. Check it out if you're interested. So once you enter your Windows 11 PC, you can basically do whatever you need. The coolest feature of the Parallels Desktop app is the ability to access your local files on your Mac using Windows 11 and vice versa. You can download a file on your Mac, then launch your Windows 11 virtual machine and open this file using Windows. You can also open Windows apps on your Mac using coherence mode. This mode will launch any Windows application without entering the actual Windows environment. You will be able to minimize the app in your dock like you would normally do with any other macOS application. If you want to connect an accessory or external drive to your Windows 11, simply connect it to your Mac and it will ask you if you want to connect it to your Mac or to your Windows 11 virtual machine. If you want to install PC games, just install Epic Games or Steam clients and download your games. If your Windows 11 virtual machine is not fast enough, you can allocate more resources and adjust some settings to get the most out of your Windows 11. First, you need to shut down and stop your virtual machine. Just turn off your virtual PC. Click on the little settings icon. You can use predefined settings for productivity, software development, design and gaming. I recommend using productivity mode. Go to options tab. 
Make sure to move the slider to no limit. It will allow your virtual machine to use full disk speed, CPU usage and network speed. It's very good for resource intensive tasks. Don't worry, it will not break your computer. It will use full power only when needed. Next, go to hardware tab. You can use automatic settings, but from my experience, you can add a little bit more juice to your Windows 11 virtual machine. I added 8 CPUs and 12 GB of memory. For me, this setup works the best both for running apps and games. Next, go to graphic settings. Make sure to select best for retina display resolution. Go to mouse and keyboard options and select auto detect for games. In the network settings, choose shared network. Sound and camera, make sure to select default options and share Mac camera with Windows. If you are running low on storage in your virtual machine, you can extend your virtual hard drive. Go to hard drive settings, advanced and adjust the size of your virtual SSD. Just make sure you have enough space on your real storage because otherwise it will not work. For example, my virtual machine is located on an external 2TB SSD, so I can extend it up to 2TB, but 512 is enough for me. Once you finish configuring your settings, you can run your virtual machine again and enjoy better performance. Think about restarting your virtual machine from time to time as you would normally do on a real computer. You can buy the standard or pro edition. The pro edition allows you to allocate more virtual CPU and virtual RAM. If you're an average user, you don't need the pro edition. If you have a basic MacBook model, you will not be able to use pro features because technically your Mac will not have enough power to make your Windows 11 faster. Keep in mind that your Mac will run macOS and Windows 11 virtual machine as a second system. So to run things properly, it uses a lot of resources and to run things faster, you actually need to have enough resources. If you don't have them, it's pointless to get the pro version. The standard edition is priced at $99 as a yearly subscription. You can also make a one-time purchase for $129 and own this application forever, although you might not get future updates. If you want to get the pro edition, you have only one choice, the one year subscription at 120 bucks. There is also a business edition. This is my license, by the way. It's true that the Parallels desktop app is pricey, but if you are a student or educator, you can get 50% off and subscribe for just $49.99 when using your school or university account. There are also special offers for military, government and non-profit organizations. You will get 25% off. Now, a lot of people are asking me if it's possible to get Parallels desktop for free. And the answer is yes and no. There are some websites on the internet where you can download Parallels desktop for free, but of course, I don't recommend doing that. If you don't have the budget to purchase Parallels Desktop 19, but you really desperately need Windows 11 on your Mac, you can use a free tool called UTM. By the way, I made a separate tutorial video on that topic. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.